Hello, my name is Udi Weinberg and I'm the product manager for ALM and Quality Center. In this short video, we are going to cover the main reasons for you to upgrade to our latest releases and also share some best practices and tips on how to achieve that. When we are talking about the main reasons for you to upgrade, the first one, of course, is to enjoy the rich functionality that was added over the last couple of major releases, which helps you to get more value out of your current investments in ALM. And we will soon cover some of these highlights. Another good reason for you to upgrade is to take advantage of the new integration framework we introduced, which helps you to connect ALM with other tools in your tool chain. Security, of course, is a top concern for us as well as for our customers. And in the latest releases, we introduced a couple of enhancements uh, for security, as well as important security fixes. The last bullet here talks about supportability. With ALM 12.5 being out of committed support by the end of 2020, it is important for you to upgrade to one of our latest versions, which is still under support, so you can enjoy new enhancements and fixes. Let's talk about some of the new capabilities that were introduced over the last years. The first type of enhancements is around our client options. A lot of our customers are moving away from Internet Explorer and looking for alternative ways to work with ALM. For that reason, we introduced the ALM Client Launcher which is the small standalone utility that helps you to work with ALM without the need for Internet Explorer, complex installation process, or special permissions. The client launcher is a fully functional client that uh, enables you to work with ALM as you did before. In ALM 15, we also introduce ALM Web Runner. This is a lightweight and pure web interface for ALM that covers most of the common operations. Using this interface, you can access ALM from any browser and operating system. The last client that was introduced in the last couple of years is the ALM Quality of Things. This is an application which is suitable for tablets and helps our customers who have a need for testing offline and still collecting the results, keeping track of them, and uploading to ALM once they get back online. Other enhancements that were introduced include the health reports and dashboards, which helps you to control the, the progress and status of your project, the ability to share these reports across multiple projects for the ALM users, the ALM test board, which helps the managers to see the workload in their teams and progress, and also helps individual contributors to identify work items assigned to them. ALM Global Search enables you to search multiple entities across projects and domains, Alongside other improvements to our usability, such as improved drill downs, advanced filtering, and zoom in and zoom out capabilities. In our latest release, ALM 15.5, we introduced a completely new reporting system, which improved the current reporting in aspects of both usability, look and feel, and introduced new reporting types that helps you to perform advanced analytics on top of your data. ALM Web Runner was enhanced to include also test automation, uh, ability to view ALM dashboards, and to conduct the full life cycle of defect management, alongside the manual test execution, which was already introduced with ALM 15. We have also introduced a new landing page for ALM. So now every user that logs into ALM can immediately see all the work items assigned to them, and also check the history for easier navigation. With ALM 15.5, we've also introduced Client Launcher 3.0, our latest release. This release completely automates the entire process of client deployment, starting from packaging it automatically on the server side and running client side upgrades. So once you roll out a new version, the client side uh, upgrade will be taken care of automatically. And of course, there is more, like a new and improved Jenkins plugin for collecting external test results, archiving wizard, completely productized a set of REST APIs, and more. We mentioned integrations before, and this is becoming top priority for a lot of our customers. With MicroFocus Connect Core that can be downloaded from our marketplace and is free to use for ALM and Quality Center customers, you can easily integrate ALM with a variety of tools in your tool chain. ALM Connect comes with connectors to common third-party tools such as Jira, version 1, Azure DevOps, ServiceNow, and others. Using MF Connect, you can easily integrate ALM with these tools to achieve the traceability and visibility across multiple tools and parts of your organization. 
We also make it easier for you to connect and control external test automation tools coming from tools such as Selenium or any other third-party tools, homegrown or open source tools that you use for automation. If you run them using Jenkins, you can easily collect these results, push them to ALM, capture them, store them, and get all the benefits of using ALM, such as traceability and advanced reporting in analytics. You can also share easily reports now, send them directly from ALM by mail, so other stakeholders in the organization can view this information. We've also improved our integration with ALM Octane for hybrid quality management. So now you can push test results from ALM to Octane to enjoy a single view in Octane of all the testing activities done in any of these tools. On the administrative side, we improved our security and user management, introducing a new support for single sign-on and API keys, which helps you to control the access to the ALM server from the API layer. We've also improved our license management with the integration of Autopass, our licensing server, which helps you with better reporting capabilities and the ability to manage license pools. As administrator, if you would like to automate some of your tasks, you can take advantage of our latest release of the Site Admin REST APIs. This way, you can automate a lot of your day-to-day -day tasks, such as user onboarding and other project maintenance tasks. ALM is also fully supported with client, uh, sorry, with public cloud providers. So you can deploy ALM on any public cloud, such as AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. The ALM robot helps the administrator to perform a project upgrade, schedule them, and set a priority. And we are also uh, helping you with exporting and archiving your non-active projects with our new archiving wizard. All of that alongside enhancements to our audit log improves the administration, reduce the total cost of ownership, and improves significantly the security of ALM. Let's review now the support policy for our the ALM versions, starting with explaining our different terminology. So committed support means fully supported, including code fixes for functional and security defects, handling enhancement requests, and hardware enablement, such as new operating systems or database versions. Once we move into extended support, typically four years from the release date, Customers are still entitled to contact our support experts for help and guidance, but no code fixes, no enhancement requests, and no new environment enablement will be available. Our latest release is ALM 15.5.1, which was released on January 2021, and this version will be supported until September 2024. ALM 15 product line will be under committed support until August 2023, and ALM 1260 will be under committed support till August 2022. All versions from 12.5 and or older are already out of committed support and are entitled only for extended support. So that's another good reason for you to upgrade. So now that we covered the main reasons and motivations for you to upgrade, what are the best ways to achieve that? So you can start by taking advantage of all the recent improvements that we have made to the upgrade process, including the upgrade robot, and do it by yourself, like many of our customers already did. You can also get a free advice from our upgrade expert that will help you to plan your upgrade in a smooth way. If you would like to get external help, you can engage with our professional services group or contact any of our certified partners to run the upgrade for you. The last option, if you are also uh, would like to also to reduce your maintenance cost is to move your deployment from on-premise to our SaaS offering. This way we will take care of the upgrade process for you as well as for the daily maintenance and administrative tasks. When looking into the upgrade path and how you can move from your current version to the latest one, you can see that we support a direct upgrade path from ALM Quality Center 12.2 or higher to the latest one. If you are using an older version, you will need to make a stop on the way. So if you are using, for example, ALM 11, you can upgrade directly to ALM 12.2 and from there to the latest. Users of uh, ALM 11.5 can upgrade directly to 12.5, and those who use ALM Quality Center 12.0 can directly upgrade to 15. From these versions, you can direct, uh, directly upgrade to the latest version, which is ALM 15.5 Service Pack 1. 
The last thing I want to cover is to share some of our resources that will help you to prepare and plan your upgrade and make sure that you do it in the most professional way. So in our he online help center, you can find a lot of useful resources. Under the Getting Started tab, you can find the What's New content, which will show you what was the new functionality added with each release. It's also recommended to check the LM system requirements, which will show you the hardware requirements for each version, helping you to prepare your hardware in advance. And the administrative help, you will find the installation help, which includes our installation and upgrade guide, which will guide you through the upgrade process, and also the best practices section, which includes a specific document about upgrade best practices. The last place you want to check is under the integration tab, look in our integration catalog. This play lists all the integrations between ALM Quality Center and other microfocus products such as UFT or Load Runner, making sure that once you upgrade ALM, you will have the compatible versions of the integrating product as well. Taking advantage of res these resources will help you to plan the upgrade, make sure it runs smoothly on the correct hardware and with the up-to-date integrations. So, thank you for tuning in to this short video. Hope it gave you enough information and motivation to move to our latest version and share the, also the best practices that will help you to go there as smoothly and quickly.